Wow, that's a lot of gifts. Wonder if they're all for the coronation. That door leads out to the hallway. It's Dr. Donut. Man, he looks pretty antsy. Finn, Jake, oh, what a day I'm having. Why so blue, Dr. D? You'd be upset too if you didn't have a date for the coronation. I don't, and I'm not, but what ifs? Why didn't you invite Nurse Poundcake to the coronation like you said you would? What? I did invite her. Oh, this is terrible. Pillow Mint Butler told me he would have Lumpy Space Princess deliver my invitation note personally. What could have happened to it? Just as we suspected. Don't worry, Dr. Donut. Finn and Jake are on the case. We'll get things patched up between you and Nurse Poundcake. Thank you, Finn. I sure hope you can clear this up. Hands off the science stuff, dude. Science is not your thing. Squishy? If I try to remove it with my hand, I'll tear it apart. That won't work. Quit messing with that. That's enough cotton candy to last, like, a year! Finn, Jake, please, just find the note and deliver it to Nurse Poundcake. I don't need a shield now, but I'll find a use for it. a weird selection of weapons. Lumpy Space Princess, we need to talk to you about your three... Tell us about the Marshmallow Kid's birthday party. Okay, so I was supposed to bake him cake. But, like, baking is really hard, and you need ingredients and stuff, and I, it was awesome! That's not awesome, LSP! That's horrible! He's just a stupid kid. It's not like he'll notice. It's not like you could do any better. Tell us about helping Nurse Poundcake and Dr. Donut. 
Yeah, the donut doctor guy, he gave me this sad, pathetic note full of mushy stuff, and he wanted me to give it to her and stuff. But I'm a lady, and I just know that the cake nurse doesn't want a whiny guy like that all up in her lumps. Not delivering that note was the best help I could give her. But what happened to the note? I don't know! I grabbed a snack in the kitchen and left, and oh my god, do you expect me to remember everything? This is my big day! I have stuff on my mind, Finn! So what about doing a favor for a friend? How'd you nail that one? That one was super easy. Wolves are complicated, so I just totally decided to outsource it. There's a bunch of people with nothing to do down near the tavern. One of those guys said he'd walk the cinnamon guy's wolf. You gave cinnamon buns hat to some bum? I'm not stupid, Jake. I didn't give him to a bum. I lent him to a bum. And he said he's totally gonna take the wolf back to cinnamon bun when he's done walking him. Tell us about the Marshmallow Kid's birthday party. Okay, so I was supposed to bake him cake. But, like, baking is really hard, and you need ingredients and stuff, and I was super busy. So I just jammed together some candy people and stuff I found on the ground and made a cake. It was awesome! That's not awesome, LSP. That's horrible! He's just a stupid kid. It's not like he'll notice. It's not like you could do any better. All right, LSP. That's it for now. But we might be back later, so stay here. Yeah, bye. Whatever. Locked. That door leads out to the hallway. Eggs. That reminds me. Do we still have a chicken? Old pizza. Gross. Wow. A food that isn't candy or cake. It's Dr. Donut's note to Nurse Pound Cake. We gotta deliver it to her. <laughs> I'm glad you found my note. Now please, deliver it to Nurse Poundcake. Nurse Poundcake, look what we found! A note from Dr. Donut inviting me to the coronation! Oh, Finn, Jake, thank you! I was so worried he had asked someone else to go with him. Now, whatever will I wear? Mathematical! Awesome! Jake, my birthday party is ruined! What happened? Why are you so upset? One of Lumpy Space Princess's noble deeds was to throw me a great birthday party. But she totally dunked it up. Um, what happened to that cake? It was awful! LSP brought a homemade cake, but she made it out of garbage and candy people! It attacked my friends. The banana guards had to knock it unconscious. Jake, when Pillman Butler hears how bad LSP screwed this thing up, he'll have to reconsider putting her in charge of the Ice Kingdom. But first, we gotta do something to help this poor kid.
We don't want you to have a lousy birthday party, Marshmallow Kid. What can we do to fix it? Well, if it wouldn't be too much trouble, could you guys make me a new cake? A better one? One that isn't, you know, alive? You got it, Marshmallow Kid! Me and Jake will make you the best birthday cake we've ever made! The first birthday cake we've ever made. So it'll maybe be good, but we can promise that it won't be alive. Probably. All right, Jake. We're gonna need a cake plate, a cake, some frosting, <gasps> and some cool bling to top it all off. Let's get started. Finn and Drake, just look at that horrible cake LSP made for the party. We need a new one. Cinnamon bun, what's the matter? Oh, Finn, Jake, you gotta help me. Jake, too, is missing. Oh, man, what happened to him? Well, Bumpy Space Princess was supposed to take him for a walk while I was getting ready for the coronation thing. But she gave him to some stranger to do it for her. She said wolves are complicated, but I think she's just lazy and mean. Uh, who's Jake 2 again? You know, Jake 2, my pet firewolf. I named him after you, Jake, because you and me are such good friends. Oh, yeah. Jake, LSP really messed this up. Filament Butler needs to know about this, but not until we help Cinnamon Bun. How can we help Cinnamon Bun? You guys have got to find Jake 2 and bring him back to me. He's gonna be scared all alone. Firewolves start burning stuff when they're scared. Don't worry, man. We'll bring him back safe and sound. I don't think anybody lives here. Nobody I'd want to meet anyway. Hey, what's up? You must be new around here. Hey, yeah. Name's Sonny. Hi, Sonny. We're Finn and Jake, adventurers and investigators. Nice to meet you. Yeah, same here. Later. Yeah, see ya. Wonder why somebody'd leave a perfectly good soap on the street. That's mine! You got about two seconds before I punch you in the face! Yeah, hi. You haven't by chance seen a firewolf around here, have you? Who's asking? Um, me. I, uh, I, I just asked you. Oh, yeah. Well, just so happens I might have seen one in a basement nearby. Or maybe I didn't. You never can tell. So, what brings you to this lovely part of town today? Not that it's any of your business, but I'm waiting for the tavern to open. I need me a nice sugary beverage. So, what you got over there? Rope or something? Yeah! It's my new rope belt! Just got it! Hmm, I sure would like to have a belt that nice. What do you want for it? It ain't for sale! But if you want to trade, you can get me a sugary drink. Cola, punch, whatever! I'd give anything for a sugary drink! Man, I am an angry, angry cookie! Somebody took the wheels. Sheesh, this is a bad part of town. Dude, you don't know where that junk's been. Ooh, locked. And it's made of tempered licorice steel. Man, the 
this ain't even a sugar cone. Hot. That's not working. You can't light that until it has a fuse. Not gonna work. I don't think so. Digging around in trash cans isn't my idea of fun. Not that I don't do it from time to time. Finn, Jake. Junk's been. Somebody, little help. Why would I do that? Give it up, man. Nah, I don't think so. That ain't working, dude. Talk about hard candy. We're gonna need to do something dramatic to get through that door. Sounds like Dr. J and Jake, too, are behind that door. If somebody can hear me, help! What were you thinking trying to combine those? Can't light that until it has a fuse. You can have my rope belt when I have my sugary drink! That cake looks horrible. But at least it's not alive anymore. I really don't want to talk until you guys make me a new cake. Don't stick your hand in the punch, Finn. It's rude. Good thinking. Now we can take the punch to Cookie Guy. punch I'm almost not angry now deals a deal go ahead and take the rope it's not really a belt I made that part up I don't wear pants ah oh, yeah nice fuse now we can light this baby Okay, the fuse is lit, and it's gonna explode soonish. Now what? How do I get into these situations? Now just stand back and watch the fireworks. Nice! <sighs> Jeez, never thought I'd be glad to see you guys. 
having a problem, Dr. J? Of course I am. I walked this firewolf just like the lumpy bra told me, but that didn't tire him out. So I brought him down here and started playing fetch with a broom. Now he wants me to keep playing and I can't get rid of him. He'll burn the whole place down if I don't get him out of here. Firewolves do love playing fetch. Well, find him something more interesting to fetch so he'll leave me alone. We should help him. Hey, if we can figure out something more interesting for Jake 2 to fetch, he'll probably follow us back to Cinnamon Bun. Just distract the firewolf already. I don't think so. That did exactly nothing. That ain't working, dude. A jewel is not a chew toy. Maybe something more stick-like. I don't think that even a firewolf would fetch a sword. Hey, Jake, too! Check this out! <laughs> Good boy! Okay, Jake, let's get Jake, too, back to Cinnamon Bud. Hey, Cinnamon Bun, look who we found! Jake, too! Finn, Jake, thank you for finding my Firewolf! That's what I get for trusting Lumpy Space Princess. She's irresponsible. Yeah! Yeah! I really don't want to talk until you guys make me a new cake. I'm sure glad we could help him find his firewolf. Finn and Jake, just look at that horrible cake LSP made for the party. We need a new one. Mr. Cream Puff looks upset. That cake is so nasty, I think I might hurl. We could maybe use that cake wall, but not if you hack it to bits. Not with your hands, dude. That's food. You need something to pick it up. We could maybe use that cake wall, but not if you hack it to bits. That's sort of right, but not quite. That won't work. Give it up, man. Why would I do that? PB stove is nicer than ours. Eggs are great for eating. And, you know, egging stuff. Water. Nah, I don't think so.
That could be the base layer for a cake. Nice. Refrigerator. Wish we had one of those. Cookbooks. We should exchange recipes with PB sometime. That might be one of the worst ideas you've ever had. I don't think so. Quit messing with that. That's not working. That did exactly nothing. That won't work. Not gonna work. I don't think so. Sure is gonna take a long time to open all of those. Must be locked. Lumpy Space Princess, we need to talk to you about your three noble deeds. Yeah, whatever, I totally nailed those. All right, LSV, that's it for now. But we might be back later, so stay here. Yeah, bye, whatever. Wonder how the houses in the Candy Kingdom don't go stale? definitely doesn't work. You're wasting water, Finn. A faucet. No sink is complete without one of these. Give it up, man. Peppermint Butler should get his peppermint butt in here and clean up this nasty pizza. It's disgusting.
Wow, that's a lot of gifts. Wonder if they're all for the coronation. Finn, Jake. Now you're pushing your luck! That ain't working, dude. It'd be cool to have a cupcake house. I bet we could rent this one cheap. I really don't want to talk until you guys make me a new cake. I'm onto something here, but I don't quite have it figured out. There! That'll make a good cake plate. Now for the cake. The perfect start to a perfect cake. Or at least, a better one than LSPs. Nah, I don't think so. Quit messing with that. That's a good cake base. Now it needs some frosting. I don't think Mr. Cream Puff wants me to squeeze him. Snail. Water. Bet there's not a single recipe in any of those cookbooks that doesn't have sugar in it.
She looks happier now. Guess that invitation was just what the doctor ordered. Do you think Mr. Cream Puff is really full of cream frosting? I don't think you can squeeze the frosting out of him. Gross. But oddly tasty looking. At least we have some frosting now. Bloop. You might think it's frosting, but it's not. <laughs> Almost done, I think. Looks good. Now it just needs a little bling. Ta-da! One awesome birthday cake. What do you think, Marshmallow Kid? Pretty nice, huh? Yes! That's way better than that nasty thing LSP made. Thanks, Finn and Jake. Glad to help. All right, Jake. That's that. We fixed all of LSP's noble deed screw-ups. Time to let Pillament Butler know what a bad job she did. Yeah! No way he'll put her in charge of the Ice Kingdom after he hears what a mess she made of everything. Pillament Butler! Jake and me are finally back. And man, oh man, are you gonna want to hear about this. What the? By the power vested in me, by the Candy Kingdom and the King of Ooh, I pronounce you Princess of the Ice Kingdom. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! But how? We have evidence. LSP didn't complete her noble deeds. Really? Well, my records show that all three of Lumpy Space... Excuse me. Ice Kingdom Princess's noble deeds were completed impeccably. What? No! She totally dogged them up! Me and Jake were the ones who completed the deeds and helped our friends! Well, I'm afraid I can't corroborate your story, young man. And at any rate, it's much too late. Ha! In your face, Ben and Jake! <clears throat> yes. Well, if you will come with me, Your Highness, there is a reception with light refreshments in the courtyard. No lumpin' way! I got my own kingdom now, pillow guy! I'm gonna rule it! Lumpy Ice Princess out! Oh man! I guess we're gonna have Ice King as a permanent roomie. No way, man. This isn't over. Let's give her a day or two and then head up to the Ice Kingdom and look around. All right, but I'm taking the sofa tonight. Ice King snores. Wank! Glad we came right from the coronation. There wouldn't be anything left of the Ice Kingdom if we'd have waited a few days like you'd wanted. Wank! There's LSP. I have got to know how she managed to mess everything up so fast. Ben, Jake, oh my glob, I'm so glad you're here. Glad we're here? The last thing you said to us was in your face, Finn and Jake. Whatever. Are we gonna talk about your hurt feelings all day or are you gonna listen to my problems? <sighs> all right, what's wrong, LSP? Why is this place such a mess? It's these lumpin' penguins. They're such little drama queens. You know how much I hate that. And they stole my phone, broke a vase, and stole my special key. I need that stuff to rule my kingdom. They took your phone? What's up with that? Okay, so it was Ginthy who stole my phone. He's probably using it to gossip to Gunthi about Gaunter. Gaunter is gonna propose to Gunthalina even though Gundy is like, Totally in love with Gaunter. Huh? Aren't you listening, Ben? I need my phone back. How am I supposed to brag to Melissa about how I totally have my own kingdom without my phone? Find your phone. Got it. A broken vase? That doesn't seem very important. That's because you don't understand love, Ben. I set up this totally romantic dinner so that Gaunter could pop the question to Gundelina. But stupid Gunter smashed the vase that the roses were in, and the whole thing is totally ruined! Yeah, but how is that...? I need a new vase for the roses! Find me a new lumpen vase for the roses! All right! Jeez! So, what about this stolen key? <sighs> Do I have to explain everything? I ate all 20 pizzas we ordered for breakfast this morning, which is totally my right as princess. But Gunder is like, 
all mad and stuff because he didn't get any. And he took this really important special key from me. Now he won't give it back until he gets some pizza. Another pizza quest. We've got some experience in that department. Yeah, I think we can get your key back. So, if we find all this stuff, can we talk about how much you messed up and how Ice King should be put back in charge of the Ice Kingdom? Yeah, whatever. Why are you still here? Get my lump and stuff! Bet this will help us deal with Gunter. Guess that must be Gaunter and Guntalina. Better find them a vase, I guess. Water. Gunter's just standing there with LSP's princess scepter. Weird. Quack. Gunter's just standing there with LSP's princess scepter. Weird. No, dude, don't squirt Gunter when he hasn't done anything wrong. Yeah, what? Gunter? Dang it! Man, we're never gonna get a bottle with Gunter smashing all of them. Bad Gunter, no more smashing bottles. Quack, 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 quack. Nice work, Finn. That showed him. Phew, that's the hardest we've ever worked for an empty bottle. You're wasting water, Finn. Wonder why she carved for my prince on her scepter. Um, here's a vase, I guess. Enjoy! Oh my god! Now everything's perfect! Guntalina, check out this awesome diamond ring. Gunter has something he wants to ask you. Oh, he's too shy. I'll ask for him. Gunter wants to know if you'll take his flipper in marriage. Quack. What? Guntalina says she only wants to be friends. Can't believe she dropped the F-bomb. If I was you, I would be totally embarrassed. Wow. Um, what just happened? Dude, I don't even know. Um, you guys don't mind if I borrow this, do you? Thanks. I bet we could see our house from here. Nah, I don't think so. Give it up, man. Hmm, that didn't work. We need something to weigh down that counterweight so the bridge won't sink.
You guys, thank you so much for looking for my stuff. If I needed my scepter right now, I'd be holding it already. If I needed my scepter right now, I'd be holding it already. I don't think so. Whoa, dude, nice lift. That thing must be twice as heavy as you. I can't reach the old underwear. I don't think I want to. Why would I do that? I'll grab them, but not barehanded. Gonna need some industrial strength gloves first. Not even a level 100 ninja could break through that barrier barehanded. Let's see if this barrier can stand up to a diamond. Yeah, boy! I never get tired of looking at Ice King's ninja weapon collection. I'm sure a Force of Blizzard scroll will come in handy. Nah, man, we don't have time to play Ice Ninja right now. Gauntlets are handy. Get it? Handy? This Stars of Frozen Rain scroll is definitely going to be useful. That's Gunder, the penguin that has LSP's key. Hey, Gunder! How about you save us some trouble and toss us the key? Whack! It's no use, man. We're gonna have to trade some pizza for the key, like LSP said. That won't work. That ain't working, dude. That's not working. 